Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading and it will be from the 24th to the 30th of May 2021 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon Rising and Venus. Let's pull your overarching energy Cancer and see what we have for you. I'm using the Marchetti decks, Tarot Grand Lux, uh, Gilded Tarot and the Gilded Tarot Royale and the Angel Answer cards. Okay. What is the message for Cancer, please, for the week? That card flew out, so let's go with it. We have the King of Coins. Can be a person, can be the energy of that card. We'll go into that in more detail. What do we have for Cancer, please, angels? What is the message for the week? <clears throat> Two cards, and we have, if you believe, this, it feels... You know, we have the symbol of creation or something that certainly looks like the symbol of creation here, creating something. And we have look for a sign here. Okay, Cancer, so those are the overarching cards for the week. I'm going to pull some tarot cards now and see what we have for you. Starting with your challenge. Okay, four of pentacles is in your challenge position advice from spirit we have the hermit and the knight of swords is your near future outcome let's clarify go deeper into the message please angel spirits guides for cancer what do we have for cancer please angels spirits guides for the week 24th to the 30th of may 2021 message for a lovely cancerians thank you i'm just going to shuffle again <clears throat> thank you we've got the hermit again card of virgo uh the advice from spirit is also hermit and we have the four of swords and the Knight of Swords, we have the Four of Cups, three fours. Bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles, please. Gemini, a card of Taurus. For Cancer, please. Also, we have Gemini energy here with the Knight of Swords. We have got a Mercury retrograde going on as well. Okay, it's interesting because the card's fallen out reversed, which is the Four of Wands. Um, Germany represents the happy home energy, um, harmony, celebration, celebratory energy. Really nice energy normally, but um, sometimes it can be about some kind of conflict or imbalance within a relationship or within the home <clears throat> so the king of coins is Germany an energy of stability security uh, very good in terms of money and career. Somebody who understands how to practically make money by using their own resources, their abilities, their practical abilities to and harness them in the best way possible to be successful, to bring in success. It can also represent a stable home. Something has destabilized you in some way. It feels it's either money and career or it's actually within the relationship itself, Cancer. So what is this four of pentacles? What is this four of pentacles for you in the challenge position? Which can be about just being careful with money. We have the tower with the four of pentacles. I'm gonna clarify this hermit. The hanging man. 
Let's do the next Hermit. Knight of Pentacles. I see. I feel it's to do with your money areas, Cancer. I'm, I'm getting an energy that this tower has come in. And you know, when a tower comes in, it brings change. It's a life-changing event. And again, something that felt very solid, stable and secure. The four walls, you know, that you've built together. It feels in terms of a relationship, family, home. They have been destabilized. And that's what the tower has done, which is in your challenge position. Um, some kind of, I mean, you know, this could be the pandemic. This could be another life experience. Changes in your money, career, financial security for the detriment generally because the four of pentacles is somebody who's been very cautious very careful with money because they they generally don't have um enough though there's de de definitely an energy with the four of, of trying to trying to bring stability back in a situation that has caused a lot of instability you know so trying your best practically to just stabilize what you can you know it feels that kind of energy i'm definitely getting in this energy it feels to do with your money career finances the hanging man is a card of <clears throat> surrender it's a card of waiting as well there's a feeling of waiting things hanging you know feeling in a period of limbo here and it is in this energy of, of the four of, of pentacles. Now the hermit is, is generally an energy of enlightenment from within, soul searching, introspection, um, inner guidance. And this is an energy of, it's not quite clear from within in how you need to take action to move forward in your external environment there's a kind of feeling in limbo and not really having the answers on what the solution is what the light at the end of the tunnel is how you move forward you know there's definitely a period of, of limbo that's going on here where some of you are searching for answers in how to deal with this situation but i don't feel and it feels how to rectify the hermit is about healing um how to raise your energy from within, how to take action in your external environment by inner guidance. But both of these are, are generally about finding knowledge, finding wisdom from within. And there's definitely an energy that it feels like the answers are evading you. Or in this period of limbo, you might be healing here. You know, it might well be going through a process of healing. Um, but it feels in this energy, Ken's, that it, it just feels that you, generally with a hanged man, it can represent periods of limbo, generally a significant period of limbo, feeling stuck, um, where sometimes a path may end and you're waiting for the alignment, the new perspective on seeing the new way forward. You know, it, it can be that kind of energy of, not always that, but it can be about feeling in limbo. And, you know, changes in our money and career finances can make us feel in limbo. Changes in our health can make us feel in limbo. Changes in our, in our relationships can make us feel in limbo. Where something has changed here, something has been destabilized, but you're not actually quite seeing the way forward yet. The, there is an energy here of, of, I mean, you might be dealing with a Virgo here because I've got three Virgo cards. Um, there will be an opportunity to get back on track here, Cancer, which will bring recovery because we have the Four of Swords, which is about recovery. So whatever this limbo has been, I don't feel you're going to be staying in this limbo for much longer because generally when we get to the Four of Swords, it's generally... Um, taking a little bit of time to catch your breath but it feels in this situation you're beginning to get your head around a situation and see the way forward there is recovery here there is a way to move forward um with this four of swords and the hermit energy it might well be for some of you that the direction is becoming clear uh finding answers from within in how you need to move forward 
it feels in this situation that's going to be clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, which is a card of getting back on track, uh, but also represents somebody making you an offer, an opportunity. So an opportunity that brings significant change and recovery, an opportunity that brings healing, an opportunity that raises your vibration from within, um, and there's clarity in terms of how you need to move forward. You know, it feels... It feels light at the tunnel energy, light at the end of the tunnel energy. Because Spirit is saying, don't worry, the offer, the opportunity is coming your way. The Knight of Swords with the Four of Cups is news, information, a conversation, uh that's bringing change and the four of cups can be to do with an offer or an opportunity uh, so it might well be for some of you there is some news information conversation here that is bringing change certainly with that four of cups energy it's something that spirit wants you to consider some kind of offer opportunity um a door opening a nudge you know that you're being told to take here this is the Four of Cups can be, it is the moon in Cancer where you don't always have the clarity that you need. Uh, there can be an energy of not seeing the way forward, feeling stuck in a, an energy of, of disharmony, discontent. And the universe is saying, no, you need to take action because... For some of you, I feel there's progress available to you. And it feels it's coming in the form of news, information, conversations here. Um, it's the divine nudge energy, the four, four of cups. And it's generally nudging you in a specific direction. And it can be to do with, uh, like I said, somebody reaching out, giving you some information. It can also be to do with offers, opportunities, you know, so whatever resonates with you. But it's certainly in this energy what you have been manifesting. The Magician is, it is also a card of communication here, but the Magician is, uh, you have the power to manifest something and I feel it's to do with some kind of opportunity. The Knight of Pentacles can be uh, a job offer, a contract, a client win, um, some money coming your way, you know, it... It can be, it's an energy of getting back on track, very good in terms of money, career, finances. And the magician is saying in the near future, you have the power over this to manifest this, to make it happen. And that's what that symbol of creation is all about. If you really believe that you can, you will. And that's what the magician is saying. And there's some kind of clear sign that you're getting this week. And I'm feeling it's this night of, of swords some news or information or conversation, maybe some illumination that you're getting in how you need to move forward here. This sometimes is about seeing the way forward through periods of, of re, you know, retreat, catching your breath, getting perspective. And I definitely feel in this situation how you're taking action is delivering some kind of opportunity here. It feels very, very beautiful indeed. It feels an opportunity to restabilize something that has been very disruptive. You know, the tower is life-changing energy. So it's had a big effect, I feel, for some of you. But again, there's a sense of, of finding direction here, manifesting some kind of new path, new opportunity. And there's definitely an energy here, Cancer, of of now is the absolute time to take action because I feel for some of you you're being given the illumination that you need on the direction you need to take. Sometimes between these two cards I will say that there's a feeling of unconventionality so sometimes it can be about trying things or thinking outside of the box. Um, so it can be an energy of you know if the path the traditional path that you've always gone to in terms of money career is closed off to you um, then it can be how you translate your skills experience knowledge to other areas other industries you know and and do that wisely and i definitely feel for some of you there are signs of some kind of change of pattern here uh, whether it's career change or whether it's kind of like finding an alternative route forward 
and I'm definitely getting that energy quite strongly, some kind of alternative route, alternative path forward. Uh, but it's definitely resonating with some of you in terms of getting some kind of offer. So very nice energy indeed. I'm getting this alternative route quite strongly. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, spirits, guides. <clears throat> we have moderation. If there's something you know you shouldn't be eating, try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine. Yeah, I mean, that's taking care of you, your health, your... Oh, okay, yeah, and we've got motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. There's some kind of something that you're thinking about here, and I've got something about... It, it's something that is different than what you've done before. Now, there's levels to that for some of you. It could be completely different. It could be career changes. For some of you, it could be moderately different. Again, this moderation energy in terms of how you translate something from one area to another and find that route forward. And I'm definitely getting in this energy. Some of you are finding an alternative route. It, it resonates with me quite strongly. Because there's a, a kind of unconventionality thinking outside of the box here. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful uh, week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.